there was some pretty disturbing footage from Howard Springs internment camp in Australia. Right now, today, they're rounding up people, even if they test negative. If they've had close contacts with someone who's COVID positive, they're taking these people against their will and forcing them into camps, internment camps. If you don't believe me, watch this. So, so what's, what's the go? So I'm going to give you a warning, yeah? So the first one warning that you have to stand about and obey the rules or you get, yeah? And that's, we have to go to the rules again. I don't care. So am I allowed to go to the laundry? You're allowed to go to the laundry, but you got to wear more, okay? Yeah. You definitely can't go up the fencing road, but you don't have to go laundry, yeah? That's always been the case, yeah? Right, so if I was sitting just here, which is right near the fence, why are these guys in a cabin that's right near the fence? It makes no sense, does it? Well, you can't leave your balcony if you go to the fence to talk to somebody else. That's what I'm saying. So if I was at that balcony... Sense, it is. There has to be lines everywhere you go, yes? And while the lines is, you cannot leave your balcony and you cannot go to someone else. Where it makes no sense, where it doesn't seem right to you, that is the line, and that's what the law is here, and that's how it goes, yeah? The law. There's a law that says that. Yeah, there's a code direction, yeah, and how the behaviour must be done, especially in this area, because it's much more highly infectious, the life you can pick up, yeah? Highly infectious when all of us people are negative. Yeah. 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 So, far, yeah. so far, the risk is still very high, yeah? Yeah. Why are you here? Can we just do that? Otherwise, the next time it's a $5,000 fine, I don't want to do that. It's a $5,000 fine if what? If, if you breach again. If, if I walk out onto that path. Without your mask on, if, with, reason, if I cross that yellow line, that I've broken the rule, I will be issued with a $5,000 fine. That's right. Yeah. I could, we could even do that now, just by like giving the warning first. Have a chance to do the good. So that's fine. Like I said, I'm not going to fight with you. I don't want to fight. Yeah. I just want everybody to do the right thing, and of course that's my job to make sure they do. I don't need to do it. I'm just asking them to do it. Hey, Shalom Amakim. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Akadash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Motion for teaching his truth and for ruling well. And peace, salutation to all you I came out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as you believers in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, the men, as well as the woman. Shalom to you as well. This is Brother Kahana live from the gym as Hawaii. And I'm coming through with a lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, Lord willing to be edifying. You know, concerning chiefly, you know, the persecution, you know, that that the righteous, the believers in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, are going to be facing, man, and how this is going to ultimately, you know, lead into these uh, uh, concentration camps, you know, as the apostles and the elders at Great Mosul have been bringing out, you know, this is going to happen uh, to a lot of people, man, and not just uh, the believing body of the Lord, but people that are not going to be complying to Esau, Edom's, you know, uh, BS, man. And as you see, you know, uh, more and more people are bucking up against uh, the system. Man. And more and more people are, you know, exposing Esau for, for, for the wickedness that he's doing. And uh, you're going to have more people in, in the near future, man, just completely um, against the establishment. You know, and this is some of the things that this video you brothers and sisters just watched. Uh, are, are some of those, you know, draconian law, me law measures that Esau Edom is establishing. Uh, he's establishing to what? To push his agenda, man. Which ultimately, you know, as we've been telling you, brothers and sisters, man, uh, this is nothing but a precursor to, to the MOTB, man, which is going to be ultimately what? That that chip, man. You know? Uh, they're they're going to see how far they could push these, these so-called you know, jabs and um you know and the and the proof of, of, of the waterings, all that stuff, man, to to what to see who complies and who doesn't comply and basically categorize everybody, man. And ultimately at the end of the day they're gonna take those that don't 
comply, man, and take him to these these type of um, uh, centers, man. You know, these uh, concentration camps, you know, internment camps, whatever you want to call it, man. And as you see, they have, you know, draconian law measures to where either you you comply or, or we're going to hurt you, you know, uh, financially to the point where you're not going to have no option but to comply, man. Which, as we know, you know, in Revelation, the 13th chapter, which Lord willing will get in a few, uh, tells you that except you have that mark, uh, you're going to have to, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. But going back to this, you know, to the internment camps, let's go to, let's get some precepts on this. And again, Salakia, again, um, you know, uh, we're going to have a lot of different people, you know, that are going to be, you know, against all these mandates against, you know, the the waters and ultimately that 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 MOTB uh and they're gonna be taken, man. But we we are gonna understand, Lord willing, you know, we be part of the elect if we are taken and apprehended, which some of us are, you know, we're gonna understand why why these things are happening, man. You know, and we're gonna have that faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that we're gonna be delivered out of those you know, situations just like the apostles, you know, <clears throat> back in the time of Yahweh were, you know, uh, delivered, man. Peter and, and Paul and all, all the apostles, man. You see? So let's go here in Second Ezra 16 and verse uh, 68. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. That great multitude is, is who? Esau Edom and, and his, you know, and his and his crew. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. That's right. Being idle meaning what? That you're going to be stationary in a place, you know, uh, ultimately designated to you by Esau Edom. And as we saw here in this video, you know, they have certain people out there in, in, in Australia, you know, in these places, man, that have came in close contact to, to people that have had the the so the the vid, you know, and uh, you know they're just basically holding them hostage, man, until whenever they deem, you know, they deem it safe, you know, for them to to go back into society, man, you know, and and they have this power. Why? Because ultimately, this has become this uh, pandemic has become a a global health emergency. You know, although, you know, we don't want to say too much stuff to trigger Esau's system, but although um, the, the, the numbers of, of, of people dying are not are not showing, you know, they, they're telling people that people are dying, that <clears throat> that this is the worst thing that ever hit humanity. But in reality. Is not what what they're making it to to be, you know. So even though it's not you know that severe as they making it seem, they still made legislation and they still made you know these draconian law measures to do what to take away the freedom of the people, man, and ultimately uh, have control over them. You see, so. Back in Second Ezra 16 and, and 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you being idols with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. That's right. And ultimately, you know, oh, as the apostles and the elders have been saying, and we've been telling you, Brothers and sisters, man, this, this, uh, these waters, this, this jab, this is not the mark of the beast, but they're gonna, this is that, that, that precursor, everything they're doing now, they're gonna do in a, in a bigger scale, in a greater scale, scale, once that MOTB is, 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 uh, pushed upon the people, man, and the things are gonna be more, the, the consequences of not taking it 
it are going to be more serious, you know. So in that day, you know, like the scriptures say uh, that the hour of temptation, <clears throat> you're only going to have two options, man. Either you are with us or you're against us. And if you are against us, if you're against, you know, or Esau's establishment, guess what? They're going to either, you know, kill you or cut you off or, or give you a little bit of more time for you to suffer and think about so-called re re uh rethink what you're doing you know they're gonna tell you hey look if you don't take this man you uh you're gonna be cut off from society uh you're gonna be considered a, a enemy to the state you know to to anti uh government all these things your your, your job whether you are a doctor whether you whatever you could be you know all these things are going to be taken away from you your licenses everything you're not going to be able to function in society no more if if you refuse to do this and you're going to become a criminal you know those are going to be the consequences it's not even going to be a oh we're going to give you a five thousand you know like we saw in the video a five thousand dollar fine no it's going to be you're going to be completely outcasted from society you know, and you're going to be labeled a, a, a criminal on uh, on on the run, you know, and ultimately, you know, that's if by any chance you manage to, to leave those those camps, man, you see. And it says and and they that consent unto them, which are going to be what people, the unbelievers of our people, first and foremost, you know, and and and, and the rest of the heathens, it says. So those that consent unto them shall be had in derision. And in reproach and throttling underfoot. Because at the end of the day, if let's go to the scripture. At the end of the day, if you receive that mark, guess what's gonna happen to you? The Lord's gonna judge you, man. You see? The Lord's gonna bring uh, his wrath upon you if you take that mark, because you're willingly uh, pledging allegiance uh, unto the devil, man. Esau Edom, which is the, the, the Heavenly Father's number one enemy. You see, so Revelation 13, oh, Salaki. Well, yeah, let's read it. Revelation 13 and verse 16 says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads, which is going to be what? The MOTB, which this whole vid thing that's going on now is a precursor to what's coming. You know, it says, And that no man might buy or sell. Save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's right. So you, you're you seeing, you know, in a smaller scale, the power that Esau has to to influence your life. You see, people think that, oh, we have the Constitution. We have, you know, freedom of speech. We have freedom of choice. But at the end of the day, you don't because Esau Edom could just establish you know, he could just make some something up and, hey, boom, for the safety of humanity, we got to do this. We got to, you know, take away certain rights from the people because, hey, we all we all want to live. We all want to live and, and we can't just have, you know, people doing what they want because hey, it's a it's a threat to humanity. So now we got to establish these new laws and and. And do what we have to do to, you know, for the survival of humanity. And then, again, once that, that MOTB is established, it's going to be worse, you know, than now. They're going to really get draconian on, on, on everybody, man. And, and take away, you know, everybody's rights, man. You know? And we see how majority of the people are, are, are with it. People say, hey, uh, um, what's that saying? Uh, shoot, I forgot the saying. Well, in Spanish, uh, we have a saying that says, uh, basically, like, if you don't have nothing to hide, you ain't got to be afraid of anything, you know? So this that's the mentality of majority of the people that, like, hey, well, I'm not doing nothing wrong. I don't. I'm not, you know, hiding nothing from from Esau. So, yeah, sure, take my liberties away as long as I could enjoy society back. You know, you could 
spy on me, you could put a, uh, you know, a chip in me, track me, all that shit. As long as I could enjoy society, I said, as long as I could go to the bar and, you know, do whatever it is, and as long as I could do wickedness, ultimately, you see? So we see how when the MOTB comes, it's not going to be a problem for Esau to, you know, to get majority of the people on board. Because he's showing you now, uh, he's um, gradually, you know, preparing the people for that. He's showing you little by little, like, look, if y'all don't do what we say, you're going to suffer. You're not going to have fun. You're not going to be able to go to the gym. You're not going to be able to go to the bars and bowling and to the theater. So it's just like, just just take it. Just, just it's, it's an easy thing. Just take it and let's get this over with and you can get back to your regular life, you know? But again, that MOTB is what? Uh, an allegiance to Esau Edom, man. And a, 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 and a declaration of war uh, against the Heavenly Father, man. And, and this is the consequence of receiving that mark. Revelation uh, chapter 14 and verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark and his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fine brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's right, man. So what's that consequence? You're going to be burning in that, in that nuclear fire, man. You see? It says, verse 11, and the smoke and their torments ascended up forever and ever for a long time. And they had no rest day nor night who worshiped the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. That's right, man. So if you receive this mark, if you pledge allegiance to these devils, man, you're going to be judged, you know, because ultimately you are against the, the most high, man. And if you were Israelite, hey, you declaring war against your own power, man. So what what do you think is going to happen to you? You definitely not going <clears throat> to receive no mercy, man. And you definitely not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you know, on the first go round. You're going to have to, like the scriptures say, uh, uh, they shall know it after death by pain. You see? <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Uh, I have some scriptures on persecution right here. Oh, and I also wanted to bring out this uh, a quick uh, article. Uh, yeah, let's bring it out right now. Um, this is from AA.com. And there was also some other articles. I'll try to go back in a few. It says, uh, facing covid Facing vid passport mandates, uh, more Swedes get microchip implants. It says, rise comes after Sweden Sweden required uh, watering pass passports uh, as all events with over 100 participants as December 1st, local media reports. It says, Stockholm, following Sweden's announcement that the that the vid water passports requirement will be put into place the number of people who got microchips inserted under the skin rose according to local media swedish daily after bled it so lucky if I, I couldn't pronounce that reported on sunday that a rise was recording the number of people who had microchips inserted in their hand following Sweden's announcement that watering passports will be required at all events over 100 participants as of December 1st. So this was, uh, you know, a couple of days ago. It says, uh, citing a resident, or oh, Haynes Showblad, the Daily <clears throat> reported, that he had a microchip with his vaccination passport inserted to his left hand. 
Showblad, Showblad uh, noted that all his information about Vid is reflected on his mobile phone when he makes his mobile phone when he so like it, when he takes his mobile phone in his left hand, adding that this is a new trend that has become popular among Swede. Another resident, Ole Halkimo, said he also had a chip inserted in his left hand, making him feel healthier. According to digital culture research, Moa Peterson, around 6,000 people in Sweden have so far had a chip in inserted in their hands. Peterson stressed that those with microchip implants have stopped carrying that watering passports, keys, ID cards, and even train tickets with them, thanks to radio frequency identification technology, a wireless system comprising tags and readers. In 2017, the country's state-owned railway company announced that it started accepting microchip tickets with the rising number of people who had microchip implants. That's right. So you see, it, it, everything is is uh, uh, connecting, man. And everything is, is being um, brought forth to the light. You know, like, let's get the scripture um, uh, real quick. You know, because at the end of the day, this all of this uh, is part of prophecy, man. You see, all of this is part of the Heavenly Father's algorithm. Esau, Edom could, could think that this is his plan and all, but no, this is the most highest plan, man. You know, and then we, the hopeful elect, we're, we're just letting our people know what's happening, man. So that what? So that they could repent unto salvation or, 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 or un, you know, stay being wicked unto their condemnation. And as well to proclaim what? The, the judgment unto the heathen nations. So this is our Mark 4 and 22. It says, for there is nothing hid that shall not be made manifest. Now there was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. That's right. And all these things, again, the concentration camps, the 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 RFID chip, which is the MOTB, all these things uh were gonna come to the light through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimia by the prophets, you know, which we believe that are the, the men starting off with the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And those, you know, all those elders and brothers on down, as well as those that, that teach the same doctrine as GMS. We believe we are the true prophets of Yahab Hashem Yahushai, man. And we're out here, you know, brothers risking risking their life to to give you this information, man. You know? To break down the scriptures uh, for the flock, man. You know, and, and just how Yahweh Shai asked Peter, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, uh, thou knowest. You know, and, and what did Yahweh Shai say after the third time? He said, it, it, basically, if thou love me, uh, uh, feed my flock, man. And this is what, starting off again with the apostles and elders at Great Mill, so this is what, you know, us brothers are doing, you know? Breaking down the scriptures uh, for the hopeful elect in truth and in sincerity, man. So let's let's get uh, these scriptures on persecution because again, you know, all these um, draconian law measures, there's going to come a time which, you know, during Jacob's struggle, which has already begun, we're going to have to face, man. You know? Because just how they persecuted Yahweh Shai and the apostles and, and the prophets of old, we're going to be persecuted as well as, as the believers in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Why? Because we're, we are against this world. You see? So this is our first Peter 3 and verse... Um, uh, let's see what's... First um, Peter 3 and verse 14. Let's start at 14. It says, Let 
Let's start at ver let's start at verse eleven, and just read the whole these couple verses. For uh, First Peter three and verse eleven, let him skew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and endure it. So this is what we're doing. You know, we're 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 skewing evil and we're doing good and we're seeking peace. Peace in between who? In between us and Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It says, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. So the eyes of the Lord are over us, to, to watch over us, and to, you know, send first and, for he, first and foremost healing through the Spirit, through the Word, so that we could understand what's going, what's going on, you know. It says, and then, <clears throat> and then, um, ultimately... To, to show mercy upon those that, that obey him. You see? It says, uh, And his ears are open unto his, unto their prayers. Because what, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be praying to the Lord at all, at all time. It says, the scripture says, well, pray without ceasing. Especially in these times, man. You know, we we, we entering into a, a time where great evil is going to come for, for everybody, man. It's not just going to be uh, on the wicked. We're going to have to go through through tough times too, man. You know, we're, we're going to have to, you know, see what we're made of. You know, like that saying goes, uh, you know, this is where the, the rubber meets the road. Well, all the stuff that we've been preparing for, all the, the you know, the, the spiritual exercise we've been, we've been doing, it's 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 for a specific moment where we're gonna have to use that 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 spiritual strength, man. Where we're gonna have to fast. Where we're gonna have to, you know, uh, give up everything. You know, brothers may have cars and houses and 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 a woman, a family, and in that day, that hour, that that hour of temptation, we might lose everything, man. Because at the end of the day, if, if, if the Lord only allotted you for salvation and not your wife and not your kids and not your, you know, your significant other or or your mom or your father or your uncle or your brother that lives with you, like, hey, we can't do nothing about it, man. We just got to praise Yahweh by Shema Oshad that he has mercy on us, you know, and, and, and understand that we'll see our family members in the kingdom. So we got to be praying, you know, for that mercy. You see? It says, uh, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And he's going to show, you know, his wrath against against his enemies soon. It says, and who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? So who's going to harm us if we're following after Yahweh Bashim al So even if in, in those persecution even if we if we are apprehended and we're you know in these concentration camps or wherever we may be taken man who who's gonna harm us if ultimately we serve in the most high nobody man that's why Romans says that what that nor death I mean nor height nor depth nor you know nor death could separate us from, from the love of the Most High. Because now we understand who who we are serving. And even if we are faced with death, we have to believe in the Most High and know that what? That He's going to bring us back. And and handsomely reward us for, for, for our service, man. Uh, verse 14, it says, But, and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be ye not afraid of their terror, Neither be troubled. That's right. So happy are we, man. Why? Because that's a sign that we, we did the right thing. That we weren't just fucking around and, 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 and being wicked. You know, we were actually serving Yahweh by Hashem Shai. You see? Neither be troubled, but sanctify the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Shai in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you or a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And that's right, man. And that's that's what we're doing now. 
But in those days of persecution, man, or of the serious persecution, much more, you know, because we're going to be asked of, of these principalities, of these, you know, these guards, all these people that are going to be, you know, working for Esau. They're going to ask brothers, to say, hey, why are you doing this? And we're going to have to say, hey, look, the most high is coming back. And, and you people that are, you know, doing this and doing that, you know, working for Esau. Hey, if, if you you were Israelite, man, you, hey, you're going to be judged for this, man. Because all this, you're working for, for, for a, a nation of, of wicked people, man. And all you're doing is of furthering their agenda, which is nothing but evil. And then in those days, some of those guards, some of those people that are Israelites within there are going to repent, man. You could be, hey, brothers could be apprehended and and here comes the guards and, hey, boom, hey, get in this case, boom, oh, you don't want to follow orders and this and this and that, boom, and put you into a, you know, a concentration camp or whatever and brothers, the spirit might jump on brothers just to just speak. Hey, boom, hey, you, you were Israelite, man, you, you know, you, you following after this and this and that, hey, the Lord's gonna kill you, man, you, you furthering a, a wicked, a wicked agenda, you, you know, just through the spirit, speak to them, and that guard, you know, over the night, you know, the Lord might put the spirit on that man to say, you know what, fuck, I am doing something wrong, man, you know what, hey, I might not save a lot of people, but let me save that man that told me those words. And boom, he might let you go. Hey, the hey, the Lord is, man, way far out with, with, you know, with his ways. That's why it says that my ways are not thy ways. Uh, my ways are higher than thy ways. So in those days, man, hey, brothers is going to have that spirit, man. And, and people are going to see who the true... Men of the Lord are, man. So if we keep believing in Yahweh by Hashem, hey, the Lord's going to make a way for us, man. You see? Uh, let's get some more precepts. This is uh, Second Timothy. Let's read the couple verses up. Uh, Second Timothy uh, 2, I mean 3, and verse, and verse 11. And this is, you know, uh, Paul. You know, speaking about, you know, the, the the persecution and the things that he went through, you know, for Yahweh Hashem, I was shy say. It says, uh, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and Iconium at Lystra, what persecution I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. You see, so the Lord delivered him out of all those persecutions, man. And then he says what? Verse 12. Yeah, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahushai, shall suffer persecution. You see? And this is, again, what, what inspired me to do this lesson, man. Because we saw this, this Edomite woman. Well, she looked like she was an Edomite woman. Uh, over there, what? Hey, she could have been enjoying her fucking days off. He was going to work and then boom one of her family members caught the vid and then she was around her when when that happened and there we go boom hey you were in contact with with so and so uh we're gonna have to take you to this place so you could do the quarantine and this and this and that and then once they were there it's like a fucking jail cell you know <laughs> and again this it, all these things are gonna get worse once they establish the motv man because that's going to be the final, you know, the, the, the final sign, the final, you know, signal or the final test to see who really is uh, for each establishment, for, for, for that B system, you know. Uh, let's see what we got. Let me close some of these out. And I think I got one more scripture and we could close it out in that. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, right here in, in Matthew. Uh, Matthew uh, 5 and verse... Uh, I'll start at 10. 
It says, uh, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And and we are, you know, doing a righteous thing by what? By following after Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and and resisting the evil, man. You know? Verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. That's right. And in those days, again, brothers and sisters, we're going to be called, you know, uh, uh, enemies of the state. We're going to be called, you know, terrorists. We're going to be called all sorts of things, man. Because we're going to be against the beak system. You know, and we, we are against the beast system, but in those days, we're really going to be against it because we're not going to buck up, man. You know, and, and Lord willing, we be part of that uh, of that number. Like the scriptures say that are not going to bend the knee to bow out, man. Because trust me, that that, you know, that that day is coming, man. Get this last scripture. But at the end of the day, hey, Yahabah Shem Shai got us, man. And that that's all that's all that's all that matters, man. It says, uh let's read verse nine. Okay, yeah, verse ten. Revelations three and ten it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come, which shall come upon the whole, salaka, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. That's right, man. And and was that that word of his patience, you know, to to ultimately what uh, serve him instead of the world, man? You know, so he's gonna keep us from that hour of temptation, man. Now let's go into the blue letter Bible, real quick. And just, you know, see what. See what um, that hour of temptation, you know, is all about. <laughs> Which we know I'm just, you know, being a little funny. Uh, hour of temptation right here. It says, Beirasmos. Beirasmos in the Greek. It, it says, an experiment, attempt, <laughs> a trial, a proving, which, yeah, this is a, it is an experiment. And it's, it's an attempt of, of Esau Edom to, to, to take over the people, man, which he's not going to be able to take over all the people because hey, the elect of Yahweh Hashem al ain't with it, man. It says, a trial proving, a trial made of you by... My bodily condition, since condition served as a test to the love of the Galatians towards Paul, it says a trial of man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, or constancy. You see, and this is what's going to happen. Our 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 fidelity to Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to be tested, man. Our integrity, our virtue. You see, it says uh, an enticement to sin, temptation. Which ultimately taking that mark is a sin because you declaring war against Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Temptation, whether arising from the desires or from the outward circumstances, you see, so whether you desire to do it or because the outward circumstances like, damn, I don't got no food, damn, I'm gonna get evicted, damn, my woman is gonna leave me, damn, uh, I'm not gonna be able to function in society. You see, it says an internal temptation to sin of an temptation by which the devil sought uh, to divert Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, from his divine errand, which ultimately our divine errand is what? To serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and to overcome evil. <clears throat> it says of the condition of things or in mental state by which we are enticed to sin or or to a lapse uh from the faith and holiness and all these things go hand in hand with with that mark man because Esau's is gonna make it to the point where like look 
you either get it or or fuck you gonna fucking nothing you nothing is gonna go for you you're not gonna get a job you're not gonna get nothing absolutely nothing you see it says adversity affliction trouble sent by the most high and serving to test or prove one's character faith and holiness and that's exactly what the lord's gonna do man that hour of again the hour of temptation you see i will keep you from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth so hey brothers and sisters man keep believing in your heart by shima shai keep your eyes focused on on the lord man because he's the one that's going to provide for us he's the one that's going to give us that that spiritual strength uh to overcome you see so with that akiyom and aqua i hope the lesson was edifying again all praises honor and glory go to yahweh by hashem yahushai by hashem Till next time lord willing a shalom